On April 20th, 2023, the historic launch of Starship marked a pivotal moment in space travel. But what's next for this cutting-edge program? As the dust settles and the excitement subsides, SpaceX is gearing up for their next mission. Despite a few hiccups along the way, including damage to critical infrastructure at the launch site, SpaceX is ready to take on the challenge. With confidence and determination, the team at SpaceX is already working on repairing the orbital launch mount and installing a unique system to withstand and deflect the power of Super Heavy's 33 Raptor engines. This is a crucial step in avoiding the complications that occurred during the last launch. Admittedly, SpaceX may have underestimated the impact of the initial launch on Stage Zero, but they're not ones to back down from a challenge. With grit and perseverance, they're rolling up their sleeves and getting to work to make it better than ever before. Let us get into more details on the planned improvements SpaceX are making for the next Starship. As many people have seen by now, the first launch of Starship caused a decent amount of damage to the pad infrastructure otherwise known as Stage Zero. For a nerve-wracking eight seconds, the fiery engines of Starship tore through the concrete beneath, shattering the foundation and sending deadly projectiles flying in every direction. The aftermath was not pretty. The rockets and nearby structures, such as the propellant tank farm, had suffered significant damage. In a recent tweet, Musk outlined the improvements that SpaceX will be making to the launch mount including a massive water-cooled steel plate that will go under the mount. Apparently, the plate wasn't ready in time for the first launch, and they had underestimated the power of the engines, assuming the concrete they had used would hold up under the pressure. Elon revealed that there was a lot more going on behind the scenes than we might have realized. For starters, he mentioned a special type of concrete called Fondag. This super strong mixture, which was used in the first launch, was designed to withstand extreme conditions like fire, abrasion, and thermal shock. SpaceX had reason to believe that Fondag would hold up just fine. They had conducted a 31 Raptor engine static fire of Super Heavy just months before the big launch. During this test, the engines were toned down to about 50% thrust, but the pad still sustained some minor damage. Based on that data, SpaceX thought that Fondag would be up to the challenge of a real launch attempt. But as we know now, that was not the case at all. The concrete crumbled beneath the might of Starship's engines, causing damage to the rocket and nearby structures. So what's next for SpaceX? With Elon and his team at the helm, you can be sure they'll come up with something out of this world. They're already working on a solution with plans to install a massive water-cooled steel plate under the launch mount. This incredible piece of engineering will consist of multiple large steel plates separated by spacers, with water flowing in between as a coolant. Will it be the perfect solution for deflecting and withstanding the power of Starship's 33 Raptor engines? What are your thoughts? Comment down below. Parts for the system have already been fabricated and were spotted on the site before the test flight even occurred. That means that this amazing feat of engineering was already well underway, but it just wasn't quite ready in time for the first launch. The damage the Starship caused to the pad infrastructure during the first launch is not something that can be easily brushed off. In fact, images of the pad show huge trenches and missing concrete slabs that were completely destroyed during the launch. But what caused such destruction? Dr. Phil Metzger, a planetary physicist who recently retired from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, has weighed in on the issue, and his explanation is fascinating. When building a launch pad, one crucial factor to consider is the gas pressure pushing from under the pad. Dirt has air pressure, and if the rocket exhaust finds a crack, it pressurizes the dirt under the launch pad even more. This can lift concrete slabs, creating a bigger crack that further drives gas pressure below. As the concrete slab is eaten away, more path is created for the gas to get through and under the concrete, leading to more disruption of the flow and converting more kinetic energy into heat and high pressure. This can ultimately lead to pad failure. It's a complex issue that requires a thorough understanding of physics and engineering, but it's clear that even small cracks or gaps can lead to disastrous consequences. It has also been theorized that some of the engine failures at the very start of the Starship launch were due to concrete being thrown up into the array of the Raptor engines. Elon Musk is confident that the Starship will be ready to launch again in just one to two months. But let's be real, Elon is notorious for setting some pretty optimistic deadlines, so it's best to take it with a grain of salt. Nonetheless, the SpaceX team is hard at work and eager to send this rocket soaring once again. In fact, Elon can hardly contain his excitement. He recently revealed that there are literally hundreds of improvements between the last two boosters. 
including a move from hydraulic to electric thrust vector control and a complete redesign of the heat shield structure. All of these changes are ready for testing, and the team is chomping at the bit to see the results. According to reports, the damage to the launch site is significant, with the Raptor engines managing to strip the concrete from the surrounding foundation, leaving just the rebar behind. It's going to be a decent-sized job to fix it up, and as a former senior SpaceXer put it, it could take four to six months to complete the repairs and install a water-cooled flame diverter. But that's not stopping SpaceX from moving forward. The next full-stack Starship rocket is already in the works and ready to begin testing in the coming month although they'll need to find a new spot to do it until the launch pad is fully repaired. And with hundreds of improvements made between the last two boosters, including a complete redesign of the heat shield structure and a shift to electric thrust vector control, the team is eager to get back to work and push the boundaries of space travel once again. Before this new water-cooled steel plate can be properly installed, the entire launch pad will need work. The primary reason for a water dilute system is to reduce extreme heat damage to the launch structure. However, it also serves to suppress sound waves that can damage the vehicles upon launch. In the past weeks, we've seen SpaceX working on this exact system and beginning to receive parts for one. In regards to the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, and SpaceX, the U.S. government has grounded SpaceX's Starship rocket through the FAA following concerns about potential hazardous debris from its explosive first launch. The FAA has suspended all further launches until it concludes its investigation into the mishap, which occurred during Starship's test launch on April 20th. As per FAA officials, a return to flight will depend on their determination that the incident did not impact public safety. The investigation began after dust and debris from the launch were reported to have fallen on residents in Port Isabel, Texas, and across Boca Chica's beaches, which are home to endangered animals. FAA aside, SpaceX got work to do. How fast can SpaceX launch its Starship? And while Boca Chica and Starbase are fantastic test sites, SpaceX has its sights set on a new location in Cape Canaveral. They see it as the perfect spot for consistent launches once they're ready to roll. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, there's plenty to do at the current sites. After their first launch, SpaceX learned that Fondag couldn't handle the heat. They need a new system to control the exhaust of the world's most powerful rocket. And let's not forget about repairing the damage to Stage Zero. It's all hands on deck at Starbase, and in the coming weeks and months, let's be real, we can expect plenty of updates about what's next for SpaceX. So, what does this mean for the space industry? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, SpaceX is always pushing the limits and making big moves.